Welcome to the Ultimate Mix and welcome to Smack Diner Raw, where we cover WWE Smackdown, AEW Dynamite, and WWE Raw. And on the Smackdown side of things, heading into Clash of Champions, we have a ladder match between AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn originally winning his Intercontinental Championship at WWE Elimination Chamber in a three-on-one handicap match from Braun Strowman decided to sit out due to the pandemic and was stripped of his championship, thus creating a tournament which AJ Styles won three months ago. Jeff Hardy last month defeated AJ Styles for the championship and that brings us to this ladder match on Sunday. Personally, I think Sami Zayn will come out on top and continue his push that I think the WWE was giving him before the pandemic hit. I think that AJ Styles would go after the tag team titles with someone or get involved in a blood feud with another superstar, making a great program out of that because, of course, AJ is a great worker. And I think that Jeff Hardy will go after the Universal Championship after Classic Champions. He'll probably start it on that next week's program. I think that's where his career is trending. It's trending upward into the main event scene. Big E is headed for a singles push as well. He's had a couple of matches here and there. Was taken out of the four-way for the number one contendership to the Universal title that, of course, Oost won by Sheamus. So they will have a match, I think, at Clash of Champions, and I think Big E will get the victory. I'm hoping it's not going to be on the pre-show, but nonetheless, I have Big E coming out on top of Sheamus, and then I see Big E going on to maybe win the Intercontinental title down the line or jump into the Universal title picture as well. Now, this Bailey sasha feud has a lot of intangibles. First of all, Bailey is scheduled to defend the SmackDown Women's title against Nikki Cross at Clash of Champions. She just turned on her former tag team partner, Sasha, in what looks to be a uh, singles program with both of them. And in turn, Alexa Bliss, which is Nikki Cross's best friend, has been possessed seemingly by the Fiend. So there's a lot of things that are going to go into this match coming up. I think Clash of Champions between Bailey and Nikki Cross. I think that Bailey will retain the championship due to interference from Sasha and or Alexa Bliss. And she will go on to defend the championship against Sasha Banks. And I believe Sasha will take some time off because there's uh, rumors that she, she wants to take some time off after that feud. Of course, Sasha could end up beating Bailey for the championship down the line, but I think that Bailey retains in some way, shape, or fashion. They may give the win to Nikki, but I think Bailey retains. And for some reason, WWE's decided to put the Street Profits, the Raw Tag Team Champions, against the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. I think the Street Profits will go ahead and pick up the victory here. Shinsuke and Cesaro have nothing to gain by beating the upstarts, and I think that the Street Profits have everything to gain by getting a victory over these two veterans. I think it will be a regular match. I've heard some rumors about it being a unification match, and it might aid them in how paper thin their tag team division is, but the Street Profits will win nonetheless. Roman Reigns, I think, will beat Us or Jay Uso in the Universal title match. I heard it's going to be the main event. Uh, I think there's going to be a finger poke doom reference here from Kevin Nash and Hogan's match where Us is going to go ahead and let Roman get the victory. And I think when Jimmy Uso gets back, it'll be the Usos and Roman Reigns taking over the SmackDown brand. So Roman Reigns will pick up the, the victory and retain the championship. And that is your SmackDown update from the Ultimate Mix.